we're at the end of the day park Ferme on uh, day three so we're in Christchurch and we're waiting for them all to come in there's been a bit of a delay we had an issue on one of the stages the last of the day a big old gnarly 71k stage it's going to end up being slightly shortened and that delay will mean that they're going to be probably another 20 minutes before they arrive here at park Ferme for the night Now Brent, I've been watching a bit of video from earlier in the day and you were having a hell of a day, aren't you? You look like you're having a lot of fun. I'm having a huge amount of fun. Didn't like the third stage, loved the first two stages, oh and the fourth stage. Um, but the, the forest out of um, Pocatica was a bit rough and bumpy, not for me. So Juddy and I both slowed down, so we actually didn't, didn't inflict much damage on either of each other's times actually. Well it looks like one of your Irish challenges is uh, departed. Yeah, it just didn't come out of the last stage, uh, and then we took a minute off um, off uh, Tyso as well, Simon Tyso in that stage. So our gap's now two and a half minutes to, to fourth. Uh, we're never going to catch uh, Jaddy and, and Bristow ahead of us, but um, hey, there's a long, long way to go yet. So hot, you know, Norwest, bony, dry roads, and the tyres just went up to it. I mean, uh, it was shortened from 73 k's to about 40, and our tyres were like. Um, jelly at the end and no brakes and I had a wee spin so we yeah we were glad it when it finished. You reckon you've got a good enough margin to defend or you got some more work to do yet? Oh there's lots of work to do we're only three days into it five to go and anything can happen anything can break so we could have a wee whoopsie uh, a puncture so who knows. Having lost all that time you got back in and attacked it this morning well done you won first stage how'd you go for the rest of the day? Uh, second stage was good uh, but unfortunately the third stage we might have been pushing a little bit hard and I just cut the apex of a corner and there was a rock which I couldn't even see, I want to see the in-car in camera footage and see if you can see it there, it was like a piece of fern hanging down and we hit that at pace and it broke the wheel and uh, the side, uh, the steering arm and so we, we limped out of the stage, got going again but lost a bit more time then uh, done a ride later on in the day, it's been fine. Um, we had a little go here and there, um, Juddy uh, and he snuck some out while I was asleep first thing this morning, so we nicked a bit back off him, which he wasn't very happy about. Then he took some back. It's just a like, cat and mouse thing, really. Well, you've done really well on that last stage today. You must be happy with that. Shortened to 40 k's, but you went well. Yeah, I'm amazed because uh, it felt so scary through there. You know, the drops are big, and um, you just, just got to treat it with caution, really. And um, yeah, I'm no, pleased we, please we won it. How's your car uh, holding up? Yes, yeah, it's, it's starting to sound just a bit tired now, and the underguards have taken a real hammering. Um, it's been rough in quite a lot of places and the guards are now rattling on the, rattling on the sub frame and, um, but generally it's okay. We've got a few issues with the gearbox still overheating, throwing the oil out and stuff like that, we're still trying to manage that. Apart from the fact that it's spewing a bit of oil in the front and you're containing that, is it doing any damage to the gearbox? No, no, it's still got plenty, we'll just check now, it's got plenty in there and we've got plenty more to go in so uh, it's just getting all over everything and it's a bit sort of concerning why it's suddenly doing it. So. Early days yet, but reasonable lead, are you, are you thinking of defending or are you still attacking? No, I'm still just treating every stage as it comes. If it's a good stage, I'm going for it and attacking it. If it's not right, I'll ease up. Service break at the end of day three. It's been a really gnarly day, particularly the last stage, which all of the drivers have said was very, very hard on machinery. The only change really is that both Vince Bristow and Brent Rostron have been really committed and absolutely going for it today. And they are two and three behind Jeff Judd. And Dave Strong still leading the challenge class. He's had a wonderful day and he's now got three minutes 46 lead. Tomorrow, day four, we're heading for Timaru.